All right, so I'm going to make this video as quick as possible, and it's just going to show you how to play MP4 player or MP4 videos on a USB for your RetroPie. So, what you're going to do is to start this off, you just need to download the program that we're going to be using. So, you want to go to RetroPie Setup. And of course, I've already done this, but I'm recording it to show you all the steps because it's super easy and you should be able to be able to watch videos within 10 minutes. All right, so then you're gonna go down to manage packages and then optional packages. And then you're gonna go all the way down to find Cody. So Cody is the one you want, hit install. I've already installed it, but you're just gonna want to install from uh, binary. So once that's installed, you're gonna back out. It shouldn't take long, it took me like two minutes. So once you're here, you're just gonna want to restart your RetroPie by hitting exit, or start, and then hitting quit, and just restart the emulation station. And this will be up, ports, just wanna enter here, and it'll be Cody. I'll just say launch and you can make it so um, Cody launches on boot and that's super simple in settings but right now we're just going to show you how to do this. So it'll look like this but blue because I've changed the theme. You have movies on the left and all that kind of stuff so just enter movies and I'm using a keyboard but you can use a gamepad um, but first you need a keyboard to set up the gamepad. So once we're here, you'll see USB is right here. Now, I had a problem where it wasn't recognizing the USB. Right now, I'm using this one. So removed it. It's super quick. Like, if it's not showing up, then switch USBs because this is 8 gigabytes FAT32. And the videos are just on the root of the USB drive. I was using this. This is a micro SD card. It's 64 gigabytes. And this wasn't showing up, I'll show you. It shouldn't matter which port you put it in. See, when you plug it in, nothing shows up. But when you disconnect it, it says remove storage device. So Linux is finicky. So just try different USBs. Um, this one seems to work perfect every time I plug it in. There. So USB 1. And then you just enter it. And here are all my, well, these aren't all my movies, but we have three movies right here. Um, just to show you it works. There. And it's good quality. It is like no slowdown or anything like you can skip. Um, I kind of recommend having a keyboard, but it's easiest way to play movies on your retro pie it doesn't get hot that's what i was concerned with like overheating but i've played movies for like two hours and there's no heat problems so that's basically it. if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below